because I felt like if hip hop is really the voice of the voiceless, why have I never heard the, from the perspective of a young person in care? I've heard Eminem joke about the foster kids. I've heard like, you know, certain jokes, but it's like, to a certain extent, if you don't see your image within the music, then you're not going to feel confident about doing it. Yeah, yeah. You know, I remember back in the day in Bournemouth when I used to be, when I was fostered in Southbourne, I remember there was one particular guy, he was like, oh, so you want to rap, yeah? Well, you haven't been shot nine times. I was like, huh? But obviously back then, like 50 Cent was the guy. Yeah. So he's just he's saying like, okay, cool. Well, rap is reflecting gangster rap. You, there was no Kanye back then. So it's like, you should be do you can't be a rapper unless you're doing that. So my thing is that, yeah, as I got older, I was like, nah, you know what? I need to, I, if like, like Chuck D said, if hip hop is really the voice of the voiceless, let me just represent myself um, and, and hopefully help young people in care know that, look, I've been through the same emotions as you. Like I haven't got parents necessarily like you, like, but if I'm doing all right, you're going to do all right. Mm -hmm. um, so cut long story short, fast forwarding on Swansea Social Services heard my project and they put me on about three, four years ago to do a rap workshop with the young people in Wales. Mm -hmm. And um, that was a mad experience because at, before that even happened, they choreographed a dance to my song called Hide and Seek. One, two, three, go. Where should I hide? Where should I go? Where should I, go? I don't know. I follow my soul. Follow my soul. No sense of time, no hope. We're just playing. One, two, three. If I take that, would they know? Would they know? I'm in a dark place. Call me a mo. Call me a mo. Dig deeper. The roots grow. Just to see young people actually put their creativity upon your music, it just, it just, it was, it was touching, you know. And 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 it basically just let me know that, oh, yeah, this is actually important. Like you need mm -hmm. to carry on. Um, and especially when it got to the, the following year when they're like, hey, can you help the young people write their own songs? That was really powerful. That's that's what inspired the song Do You. Because when, when, when I realized that, you know, this is not just some rap thing that you just do, you can actually change someone's life by the words that you rap. I'm not a number. I'm not a statistic. I'm not a title. It's amazing to know what I create is resonating with young kids caught up in a similar mix, connecting first hand, travel the land, jam with bands, inspirational energy to run tracks. So I can't hold back or lose slack. I know what I represent, I've seen an impact. Each one, teach one, you gotta give back. Cause you never know how you can change a life with the word you rap. That's when the whole game changed, because it's like I had an intention to kind of you know, inspire young people. But then when you actually see it with your own eyes, there's one thing having law of attraction. There's another when you actually see it. Then it's like, all right, cool, this is serious. Like Going back to the track, Do You, and in the intro, you've got like like kids. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are those Are those kids you've worked with? Yeah, yeah. yeah so they were, the, cool. they were the actually yeah. kids in Swansea. Ah, okay, cool. Um, well, so I thought one had a Welsh accent. Man. <laughs> I'm half Welsh myself. I, I've got a keen ear for that accent. Okay. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so that's, so <laughs> fast forward on, I guess. Um... That was the catalyst of the workshop.